Hi again, everyone. So this is one of my own. This is not a contribution or anything. This is I have my own thoughts and my own memories. And I decided to come and make a video about it. So, as you know, with the shooting at Fort Lauderdale Airport, um, or you guys know by now there was a shooting at Fort Lauderdale Airport right down the road. Um, you know, Charlene came home from work, and you know we're watching, we're watching it unfold on the news, and um, I'm watching these um, people run out in fear, and um, see these mothers with their children and kids in their arms. running out and it was really surreal you know you know I was there I was I was in I was right next to Manhattan for 9-11 I was there the next day you know it's an eerie feeling down here <clears throat> so I've been through stuff like that but as I saw the parent running out with the children multiple you know this thought popped in my head that, you know, <laughs> there is no way that they would ever put Aaron on a plane now. Nor would I want them to at this point. I wouldn't feel, even feel comfortable with it now. You know, with the state of the world and everything. I mean, that, that sucks. That sucks. And, you know, that, that isn't even what, what, what I wanted to even talk about, you know, cause Charlene is, um, she's yelling at the TV, um, cause she spends a lot of time on godlike productions and, but as we're watching it, it is let out on the news that. As this shooting is happening is when Donald Trump was getting his intel briefing about the Russians. And I like, and I'm not one to ever yell false flag or anything like that, but I'm like, Jesus Christ is, I mean, there just, there's just too many coincidences with all this fucking bullshit, you know. All that, you know. So, Charlene then makes the comment of, you know, that, um, about my ex-wife that, you know, yeah, um, the candidate, the candidate you voted for, you know, is the one who caused all this meaning. Obama, Clinton, and and all that, and I'm like, she didn't vote for, it. no way, 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 they voted for Trump. And she's like, cause your father, right? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, there's no way my parents is, they they didn't. I know they didn't. I know they hate Hillary Clinton. There's no way they voted. And and um. And she was good, and she'd go along with it. And, um, and she's like, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, because I freaked out on her, you know, not that I freaked out, but I freaked out back in 2000 when she voted for Gore. She's like, she voted for Gore. I'm like, yeah, she voted for Gore. And she's like, really? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, and that was the whole hanging Chad election. I'm like, really? I'm like, yeah. I'm like. And she was surprised I got so mad. And then I started thinking, then I started thinking about the whole scenario. And I never put two and two together at the time. Because when we started dating, we started dating, I think, in 1993, 1994. 
something like that, one of those two years. And I remember, because I used to work a lot of late nights, I remember I would come home and she would sometimes, a lot of times she would be there and I would still be, and this is when I think I was still living at my parents' house, in fact, I mean, I, I was young, young. But I would come home and I would watch Rush Limbaugh every night on a, he had a Channel 9 show in New York. It was actually the basis of The Daily Show, believe it or not. You know, when they say this woman, Lynn Winstead, this liberal comedian is the, the founder of The Daily Show. No, it's Rush Limbaugh, because Rush Limbaugh was doing that shit in the early 90s before anybody making fun of politicians, taking their audience. He did that before anybody on Channel 9 in New York, and I think it was it was run nationally, too. But I'd sit there. I'd sit there yelling at the TV, you know, and I was young and I was still, and I was very conservative back then. I was always, I was always very political. And she was there. She'd watch me. She'd kind of comment here and there. And that's six years prior to her did her voting for Gore. And then I'm like, well, why how could she be so surprised then in the car? Like, like, like. Because it was the, the thing with my ex-wife was it was always just like, oh, she just stares at you, you know, she's so in love with you, she just watches you watch TV. She watches, she doesn't actually watch anything that's going on. She watches you watch it. Which is true. Which is which which was true. But it wasn't love. I think she was in love with the it's probably you know, the problem now is in love with the idea of what I, what she thought I was, what she wanted me to be, maybe what I look like. And for me to not even kind of put that all together until, I mean, it was 2017, 17 years later. And it makes me realize she never, like I say now she never knew me, but now I realize like, wow, the depths to which she never actually knew me. Because it wasn't like, I could have accepted if she could have given me a political argument of why she voted for, for Gore at the time of any belief, but she thought I voted for Al Gore. Knowing it was like, you know, he's Clinton's like, yeah, you know, I don't like Clinton. She's like, you don't? And even then, I'm not putting two and two together. I'm just thinking like, oh, wow, she's just an idiot. Not thinking like, wow, this is a serious problem. Okay. This is a narcissist who's now looking at me as like upset more not love obsessed okay and is seeing me in a way I don't even see how she's seeing me and it is completely crazy and I think that might be that look that people keep saying when they get that look from their narcissist that they can't describe and they can't put their finger on it Because I never liked it that she stared at me like that. I never liked it. made me uncomfortable. And I guess what I was picking up off of her is in that gaze or in those looks, she was never actually there seeing me. She was just somewhere else imagining something or and to think that that carried on through marriage is, is mind-blowing to me but the red flags were there 
all along. I mean, you guys know my politics. You hear how, how I talk about them. I've always been like this. This isn't anything new. We used to argue politics at the firehouse all the time. The firehouse that girlfriends and wives hung out with us all. They were there all the time with us in the, in the rec room. And that's what you did. You sat there waiting for calls to come in, arguing about politics. So, to realize you were married to somebody, or you were with somebody for, for nearly 15 years, married to them for nearly 10, and I guess that's where all the anger comes from. It's the anger of whatever she built up in her head about me was going to be the reality. Instead of seeing the reality of my words and my actions, I mean, I'm pretty animated, so I've heard. <laughs> if, you, if you miss what I'm saying or what I'm talking about or, or my stance, if, if you could be with me for six years and not know where I stand politically, that it would shock you that, that 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 it would shock you that I would get annoyed that I'm married to you because I was married to her that by that point that you would vote for Al Gore knowing the way I am politically it like and I could see it in her eyes like she was confused like it was like we never even discussed any of this like it was never around. but we were newly married I mean we weren't even married a year yet Was on that roller coaster, man. The narcissist, because the narcissist never really knew you. They don't want to. So, that's my little tale for now. I found, because it was really mind blowing to me and how I kind of can't got down that road today. Like, wow, and I said that, that she never really knew me, but something like that, you know, and it's odd how a terrorist thing, it just takes you down that road. It takes you down that road, and it's, it's like, wow, wow, because I get animated over this stuff, Charlene gets animated over this stuff, and it's like, just like, wow, she really did vote for Al Gore, you know? She really did, I mean... And was just stunned. And that's what it is. It's that dead look. When they're staring at you. That can be confused for love or affection. Or God knows what. But it's not. It's something weird going on in their heads. In their fantasy world. Because they never will see you for who you are. Or for what's going on. So. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Please leave any comments in the comment section below. And again, if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, a narcissist you'd like to expose, or you'd like to do a private Skype chat or have a private video made, you know what to do with the PayPal and the email links in the description box. I'll have the video right back to you. This is Ali Matthews. Thanks for watching. See you all again soon. Bye.